Hello, hello, hello. This is Elect Lady Vanessa Dalton, and welcome to another True Tuesday. I tell you, we're having so many technical difficulties, but we are here and we are ready for the word. Now, Pastor Dalton is coming with the word on tonight, so you know what to do. Get on your computer, grab your laptop, get a notebook, and let's get into the word. Praise the Lord and welcome to True Tuesday, amen. Uh, thank you for tuning in tonight, amen. Uh, I'm going to have two scriptures tonight. The first one's coming from Deuteronomy 30, beginning reading in verse 15, and then the next one will be uh, Joshua 24, beginning in verse 14, and uh, let's, let's open with a quick word of prayer. Father God, thank you for this day and all your many blessings, God. Thank you for keeping us and watching over us, dear Lord God. Thank you for your care, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. So, amen, I'm coming from Deuteronomy 30 and verse 15, and it reads, See, I have set before thee this day life and good, death and evil, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou will not hear, amen, but shalt be drawn away or worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not, not pro prolong your days upon the land, whether thou passest over Jordan to go to the or go to possess it. I call heaven and earth record this day against ye, you that have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. And thou mayest love the Lord thou God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thou life and length of days, and thou mayest dwell in the land with the Lord. So unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Now Joshua 24, amen. Joshua 24 and verse 14 and 15, it reads, Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served unto the other side of the flood, and in Egypt serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your father served that were on the side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Amen. So for a few, few uh, minutes, we're going to talk about uh, dividing line, the dividing line, amen. A dividing line is that which separates between two or sets one thing apart from another. From the beginning of time, there has been a dividing line between righteousness and unrighteousness, God and Satan, bondage and freedom, life and death, good and evil, right and wrong, salvation as being eternal or and being eternally eternally lost. The dividing line between life and death in the Garden of Eden was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Amen. You're talking about the dividing line tonight. God told Adam that the day he ate of the tree that he would die. Amen. Adam did eat and therefore crossed the dividing line to the other side where there is found death, disappointment, and eternal Punishment, amen. But in Romans 5 and 12, it says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for they all have sinned. We've all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's why you need Jesus, amen. That's why you need a Savior, amen. But since the fall of man, God has uh, provided ways of deliverance from the state in which men fail. God's going to provide a way. He's provided a way, amen. He will do it, amen. The dividing line, amen. When, when he obeyed the Lord and followed the way of deliverance provides by the Lord, he was always 
uh, brought safety over um, on God's side. Amen. Of the, of the dividing line. Therefore, escaping the curses that befell all those that were disobedient and remained on Satan's side. Amen. You're going to be either going to be on God's side or Satan's side. You're going to serve God or you're not. There's no, there's no, uh, other way around. Either you are or you're not. Either you're going to follow God or you're not. Amen. But man in Christ, Mark 16, verse 15 and 16 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth shall be damned. Amen. So you got to, you got to serve him today. Amen. The dividing line. Amen. Baptism is the dividing line between man being in Christ. Those that are baptized, amen, put on Christ. This is found in Galatians 3 and 27. For all, for as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. When you baptize in Christ, you put them on, amen. They're, they receive the benefits of Christ's death. Romans 6 and 3, know ye that many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized unto his death. Amen. Jesus Christ has made a way. Amen. You, you can't get, you can't go over it. Amen. You can't go under it. You can't get around it. Amen. There's no other way in. You got to know Jesus. Amen. There's not, there's not another substitute. There's not another way. Amen. It's only in Jesus. Amen. You receive a uh, new life. Amen. It's in, uh, uh, Romans 6 and 4, therefore, uh, we are buried with him in baptism and in death, like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. It's new. Everything is new. Amen. My walk is new. My talk is new. I don't want to do the things I used to do. I don't want to go to the places I used to go because I everything is new to me. Amen. Amen. I, I, I just feel new all over. Amen. We, we become new creatures. In 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Those, those old things, your old habits, the old things that you used to do, them old things that you used to say, them old things that you want to do is passed away. Amen. Amen. But in Acts 22 and 16, it says, And now, why tarriest thou, arise and be baptized, and wash away the sins, when you call on the name of the Lord, when you go to the Lord, he will wash you. He will cleanse you. He will wash you. Amen. Amen. You don't need Clorox. Amen. You don't need another kind of bleach. Amen. You don't need Tide. Amen. But you need the blood of Jesus to wash you. Amen. Wash you white as, white as snow. Amen. But he will wash you and cleanse you. Amen. But we're just talking about the dividing line. Amen. What side of the line are you on tonight? Amen. Are you on the side of, of Jesus? Amen. Are you on the side of Satan? Amen. Who who are you serving? Who are you following? Amen. Uh, who who who, uh, who is on your team? Amen. If you are you on Jesus's team or you on the devil's team? Amen. But you need to make a make up your mind tonight who you gonna follow, whose team you on? Amen. We don't have to worry about nothing else, but you just need to follow Jesus. Amen. We're just talking about the dividing line for about two more minutes, and then, then it's gonna be time to go. You are saved from past sins, amen, and found in 1 Peter 3 and 21. You are saved. You don't have to worry about your past. The only one that can bring up your past is the enemy, amen. The devil brings up your past, amen. Everything you've done, everything that you didn't do, amen. The stuff that you tried and it didn't work, the enemy always brings it up, amen. But Jesus Christ is going to always cover it, put covered in the blood, amen. You know I mean, because once it's done, it's done, amen. It's over. All you do is say, God, forgive me. I repent. Lord God, help me right now, Lord God. That's all you have to do is repent. Amen. But once you are baptized, you can enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. The kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. John 3 and 5 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. If you want to see the kingdom of God, amen, if you want to see Jesus, then you must be born again. Amen. My, my time is up. I want to thank you for yours, amen, and he, he had True Tuesday, amen. Thank you for tuning in. We have our Sunday morning, uh, Sunday school, amen, is at 9, 
And then we have morning worship at 10. And yes, you are invited, amen, because, hey, we wear masks here. We do cleaning, amen. Uh, you know, you, you are safe, but you got to wear a mask, amen. And we got to practice social distancing, amen, even in this season, amen. But Jesus is still in control. I want to thank y'all. I'm going to close out in the world of prayer, amen. Father God, thank you again for reminding us of the, the divine line, amen. And Father God, keep us safe, dear Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.